You will not be surprised to learn that what I decided to do when I was evacuated for fire danger uh, is to go thrifting. So yes, uh, it is time for a thrift haul and I know you're not surprised by that. So stick around. This is not going to be super long and I'll tell you about that right now. Actually, let's just get into it. But first, I do want to say hi. We have some new subscribers and I'm super excited. Uh, Rosabelle Green just subscribed. Tara P or Tara P has been, um, has a similar experience than I did. And so she's super sweet and has been commenting and really I love talking to her down in the comments. Kimberlini Bambini has the best, funnest name to say that's super fun. Stephanie and Jeannie and Christine and of course Casey are some of the new folks who've popped by and who have decided to subscribe and I really appreciate that you're here. Our subscribers are super awesome, super kind, and I love chatting down in the comments. So leave a comment, say hello, and let me know what you think about this haul because Yes, when I, and I'm just getting to filming this stuff now because we did the box with Kelly um, because we could not wait to get that done. So that is, I'll link that down below. If you didn't see my little swap box with Kelly, you should go watch her channel as well to see what I sent her, but she sent me some great stuff. So go watch that video. Not right now, watch this one first, uh, but we're going to have a little haul. So like I said, we evacuated because of the fires were at the end of a dirt road that the trees fall down very regularly at the head of the road. And with the winds being so strong, there were branches going everywhere. And so when we had the first fire that was three miles away, it was my dad could not sleep for two nights. He was up. We were trying to figure out what was going on because there was no communication. This was before everything went crazy. There was just a mill fire about three miles away from us that was insane. Millions of dollars of lumber burned up. So that was our first thing. And then just with the winds and we had on two sides, like the red areas creeping closer and closer to us. And we weren't technically in a mandatory evacuation zone, but we were in a, hey, if you can get out and you sort of kind of can zone, we were. So um, dad just knew that there was no way that if the trees fell out down, we would be trapped here. So he was like, we need to go out. And I'm like, okay, we did. So we went to hang out with friends and since we were there for like five days and had not much else to do, I went thrifting a couple of days and I'm going to have a couple hauls. This one is actually from two different days. The first haul is super small because I went with the daughter. She started to feel very ill. So I just grabbed a few things and we ran and it was good things we did because she was not feeling well. Uh, and so then we went out later and I'll tell you about that when we get to it. So let's just get into this haul, see what I found at the first place. Actually, I have not looked at these things since I've been home. Uh, literally, it's been kind of crazy. I re I just came in, dumped everything out, and I'm trying to put everything back because when you pack up, like, I didn't pack up a lot to evacuate, which was hard thinking about, like, okay, all of my inventory, I do need to get business insurance, by the way, because homeowners would have covered most of it, but just in case. Uh, anyway, so I'm like, yeah, so I, I grabbed certain things, but, like, the blanket, the quilt my mom made me, I didn't, when I first left, I had, like, three shirts and a couple pairs of pants. I was like, hmm, maybe I want more clothes just in case. Anyway, so this thrift store, I grabbed a few things because like I said, the, I guess she's like my kind of adopted niece, uh, wasn't feeling well, so we had to leave. But I did grab this gorgeous piece. This is handmade in Iceland, I believe. Uh, yeah, it just says made in Iceland. It's a size medium. I believe it's wool, but let me look for that. Like I said, I haven't looked at these since we had to vamoose. Uh, and the brand is Kidka. Let's see. Do we say that we're wool anywhere? You feel like wool. Hmm. I don't see contents tag. Watches on. No, it's not on the back of that tag. Anyway, pretty sure that it's wool. It's cropped. It's so cute. It's like this gorgeous wool hoodie. I mean, seriously, could I go wrong with that? It's brilliant. I don't know if I can wash it or not. As you can see, this is from all my other hauls. These are my dry clean and steam clothes. The pile's just getting a little big. I'm taking a break from taking photos because I wanted to. I'm going to put that there because I don't know if I can wash it. All right. Like I said, I think I only got five things here. So we're going to go to the next day too. And I'll show you some stuff there. I had to get this cute little thing because this is size 54. It's Nikki uh, Runstadt Works Smut. Florfest. This is cotton velvet, velour stuff made in West Germany. Okay. So anything, I just, the history I love. So this is fabulous. And it is this velour, like 
leisure suit top. How on trend is that? Like this is a great Depop piece. I don't list enough stuff on Depop. I do sell stuff on Depop, but I sell most of my stuff on Poshmark before I get it cross listed. So I really haven't listed a ton on Depop or eBay and I really do need to list more just to expand my market. Uh, but you know, all right, there's two things in here. I'll grab this one. Uh, this is so cute. This is vintage Susan Bristol made in Hong Kong, 1991. It's dated and hand embroidered. So it's a large, but Ooh, look at that cuteness. And marigold is a color that is very on trend for fall. So not the, the hard mustard. It's a little brighter than marigold. I could probably list marigold when I list this just because it's super cute. It's navy and white. Um, what is it made out? Of? I feel like it's cotton. Could be acrylic. Yeah, it's acrylic and wool. There we go. <laughs> Could be acrylic. I was right. And I can hand wash. Okay, cool. And then last but not least, I grabbed this new identity petite. I don't know why I grabbed this actually looking at it now. <laughs> because I was in a hurry and I had a car. Oh, I, I guess it's cute. It's really cute. This, there is a little fringe off right there. I didn't notice right now. Um... I did have a cart with a bunch of stuff in it, but because she felt sick, I didn't have time to go through it. So I just grabbed like five things I knew that I loved. And this is pretty cute. It's vintage. It's petite though. I don't know why I grabbed it. It's cute. But it does say dry clean only. It's denim. So we'll see. I may wash it, just hand wash it. All right, so that was that shop. And like I said, we had to go... And I'm like, I'm sorry, she's because their bathrooms are all shut because of COVID. So she couldn't go to the bathroom there. And anyway, okay, and too much information. I'm sorry. She's going to get so mad at me if she sees this. <clears throat> so the next day I went out and I did some thrifting by myself because we stayed up really late the night before talking. So she slept in. So I went to one store and it was closed because of the smoke. Then I went out to this other store and I have a huge bag, which I'll do in a separate haul. But then I met the niece over at Goodwill. So we're just kind of looking around. And of course, as Pam knows and has said, I can't resist the kids' clothes, especially kids' coats right now. I had to grab this. It's so cute. It comes with its matching hanger. Hello. Look at the cuteness. Um, kids' coats, I don't mind buying. They sell really well. This is kid adorable, kid adorable, And it is a size, what is it? 12 to 18 months. And it's just this green little rain slicker. It's so cute. Had to grab it. You know I couldn't resist. All right. But then I also had to grab this. I tried to talk myself out of it, but it didn't work. So I grabbed it. Uh, let's see. Where did the bag go? There's a bag somewhere. I think I lost it. Anyway. there. It, this comes with a bag. It's in somewhere. Um... It does have a name written in the back, but it is from Tokyo Disneyland. And it is this super cute little perfect for fall Mickey Mouse. Top. I wonder where the bag is. It's in, it's in one of the bags. Um, but it has a little bag to, it like folds up into a little tote into a bag, which is so cute because it's like easy to slip on a stroller or anything. Does it have a size? I think it says 100, so it's in metrics is my guess. Yeah. But it's just a super cute little windbreaker with a little hood. So I had to grab it. And going thrifting with the adopted niece, she's not really a thrifter. You know, she's she's a shopper-ish, but she's not like a diehard thrifter. So we didn't look as well as I would have liked, but that's okay. This is a Edie Dasan. I'm not sure. It's acrylic nylon wool angora size large. Um, but I sold both of my super cute red and black vintage sweaters. So I saw this. It has a little puff. It is super 80s. So I had to pick it up. It does have some sequins down the front here, which I don't know if you can see. Sequins are on trend again for fall. Something to think about as you were out there looking. Dry clean only, of course. What oh, can I hand wash? No, it is hand loomed though. Hmm. My pile keeps growing, among other piles. Okay, this one I am so interested in because I don't know a lot about it, but it is super soft. So this is the tag and then fashion knitwear. So I feel like that could be like a modern made in China something, but it is super soft. I'm pretty sure it's Angora and look at the detail on the front. 
but I don't really know anything about it. It's very much like a sweater girl sweater from the 50s or 60s. So cute, so super soft. And I don't know if that's a modern tag or not. Like it could not be. So I'm gonna have to, I don't, I, we'll see if I can do any research on it. It doesn't have any other tags that tell me contents anywhere. So it could legit be vintage because even stuff, look at the cute little pearl buttons in the back. And I would guess that's probably a medium to large because it's supposed to be a little bit of a, you know, cute. So cute, look at those, I just love, I cannot help myself. So embellishments, pearls, details, that kind of stuff on trend. I mean, that's in my world, it's on trend. But in other people's wor world, those are also on trend. Let's see, what is this? This is, oh, this is probably for me. It's just a Letty and Me, size 1X. Has this really cute detail on the back and it's just a little cardigan. One thing with working from home is I usually don't have my heat on during the day uh, at all. So my, or lights or anything like that. So my utility bills are going to be a lot more this year. So I have sweaters that I can wear I, and like do layers because of then I get too hot because, you know, premenopause, awkward. Um, oh good. I can wash that. So yeah, I just, ugh, that's something to think about. It's also, I feel like we had a teacher who we've had, there's a zoom bombing thing. So people come in and like attack zoom classes, like teachers and students and like put up pornographic pictures, say racist things. And it's super stressful for teachers and students. So, you know, everyone's trying to figure this out. And as a teacher, usually you teach in your room and the people who see you make the mistakes are your students who know you and get to know you and you have a lot of fun with them. And so it's okay to be human. But with like, when you're watching, when you're doing a Zoom class, you have no idea how many people are watching you or what they're doing. A lot of my kids are babysitting brothers and sisters while they're trying to pay attention in class. It's just, it's crazy. And we all, I mean, yeah, it's not an ideal situation, but it is safe ish i guess um this is a tomi made in canada size eight it is just this really cool let's see are we wool yes it is wool uh vintage trench coat i don't know let's see if you can see it but it's wool it's gorgeous it's just got this really lovely feel so it's kind of a medium weight wool do we have a little oh we have a little hole right there that i didn't notice just stitch it up and um That'll actually take like three stitches and then just close it. Not a big deal. But there we go. I love trench coats. Cannot resist them, as you can tell by my Poshmark closet. All right, had to grab this. And so I was telling, oh, we'll get to that. So I was telling my like niece to like, go look for this or go see if you can find any kids' jackets or go see whatever. But we didn't really spend a lot of time or like look in depth there just because she was there. So this is just a John Ashford, a large, but it's a suede vest, a men's, really cute, just has basic buttons, has some distressing as will happen with vintage suede. I think this one's vintage. It might not be, um, but it's okay. It has the look. Oops. I'm just going to put that up there if it'll stay. Okay, this I got because I want to try it on. <sighs> it's going to put that down there. Uh, <laughs> I want to try it on. I don't know this brand. It's, I think, G Gleck Glee. I don't know. J, I don't know. It's a size 2X. Um, but it is this super, so cute, smocked waist, little fit and flare denim dress and this is going to be so so sexy on these kind of waists are so nice because they cling like but they don't cling cling so they give you room but then they hug Ugh. anyway i'm gonna try it on i'll probably end up selling it because i have a feeling it may be a wee bit too short for me but i think it'd be really cute over like leggings with little booties or something or you know not booties i don't know this dress i probably shouldn't have purchased it's not great for comps. I just really like the colors for fall. It's an Isabel and Alice size large. It has this really pretty square neck. And then it has like all these lovely fall colors. But like I said, comps-ish on this. And this is another case where I really didn't check things out because the niece was there and she was wanting to go. Um, 
so we didn't stay along but okay so i told her we get to the jackets and i'm like okay so look for saint john look for pendleton la 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 stuff like that she goes two coats she's like oh you mean like this and this is what she pulled out so this is a saint john uh sport by Marie Gray. I should be able to clean up the label, no problem. It's a size six. It has this really fun, like, fringe detail all around with the rickrack kind of. It's just a really lightweight coat, so it's nothing super fancy, but it was likely a thousand dollar coat. It may only have been a six hundred dollar coat. Anyway, it zips up. Does it zip? Yeah, it zips up the front. Super cute, embellished. I'm pretty sure I have to dry clean you. Let's see. We have an interesting tag. What is, look at this tag. Is this a sample tag? Huh. This might be a sample tag. I just sold. Oh my gosh. Did I tell you this? I didn't tell you this. So you may have seen my thread up. I have one more thing in here and then I'll tell you this story. Okay. So speaking of samples, I think this might be a sample. I'm going to have to do some research, but that looks like a sample tag. Um, and then I had to grab, of course, this vintage chunky pink flecked sweater cardigan gorgeousness I don't know if this is hand knit I've been a couple things I keep thinking are hand done and then I find the tags in them but I think this one was hand done it feels like it it looks like it I mean look at the seaming in there it just looks like a hand done and there's no place for tags anywhere anyway it's gorgeous it's vintage it's super cute can I wash you I can probably wash you and just stretch you. So with something, I think this is wool. If I washed it, I just make sure to stretch it after I washed it to reshape it. Um, and I probably will. I don't know. I'm going to put it here and then I'll put it down there. And my pile's everywhere. In okay. So speaking of samples, so I have to tell you this because the video is not too long yet. Even I'm a little chatty. Um, so if you saw my thread up unboxing from December-ish, I was like shopping their end of year sale and I purchased this Anna Sui that was supposed to be new with tags dress. Well, when I unboxed it, I looked at the tag, I found out it was a sample and I was like, oh my gosh. And I probably actually could have asked her up. I could have said, hey, you said this was new with tags. You did not say it was a sample. And in most cases, they will actually give you your money back if you find a little damage. That's something good about thread up. I mean, like don't say, oh, my whole box is this, whatever. But if you do have a little flaw or something and they said it didn't have flaws, let them know they will usually refund you. I told that to um, Girly Girl Style and she was able to get this jumpsuit that she bought but came and it was faded and pilled. She was able to get her money back from that and she didn't know that. So you may not know that either. Thread Up is actually quite good about if they say something is in good condition and it's not giving you your money back. But I didn't really think of saying anything like that. And I was like, oh, fine. I listed it. It's been sitting in my closet. So last week I relisted it. And then it was purchased at full price about three days ago. And I like, don't think any, it's a guy named Paul. And I was like, okay, maybe he wants it for his girlfriend. Maybe he likes the dress. I don't know. I don't care. It's not my business, but glad it sold for full price. That's awesome. And then I printed out the label and the label said Anna Sui, New York. So they bought back their sample and I don't know if they're going to destroy it. It's super cute. I hope they're not going to destroy it, but they might because that's what people do with samples. Um, but they didn't say anything or whatever. But I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Anna Sweet brought something from my closet. I was so excited and that was just awesome. In any case, I hope you like this kind of kooky little random haul. I, like I said, I went to two places. I spent very little time because I was with a teenager and there you go, of course, fully masked. Uh, but I do have another haul coming up from when I, the day we went to the Goodwill. Uh, I went to a serious thrift before her and I have a giant, and by giant, I mean one of those big black plastic bags full and I will be filming that haul at some point and I will be showing it to you. I hope everything is well with you, that you're out there making the world a better place because you're awesome. I really appreciate you being here to be part of my reselling journey. And in this case, it's mostly just thrifting and hauling journey because yeah, that's what I'm doing a lot of now and listing, a lot of listing, which I'm going to get back to. So I will see you later, alligators. Bye.